Hello, Mike Sturgis here, and right now I'm going to play through a track from the Rock School Grade 8 syllabus called Mind the Gaps, as seen on KR Player for iPad. It has some really interesting features that you can use to develop your own playing technique. I've selected three sections of the track to work through with you in this session, so let's get started. Okay, so first of all, I'd like to show you the main grooves for section A and section B of the piece. In the library of the KR Player, I search for Mind the Gaps. I then open the piece by tapping anywhere on the cover. In settings, I choose the drum score and also the no drums audio out of seven possible options to play along to. By tapping anywhere on the screen, I dismiss the settings and am ready to play by tapping on the play button. One, two, one, two, three, four. Stop the backing track by double tapping anywhere on the screen. Let's break the B section down and practice it a little slower with the metronome. In settings, I choose the metronome option. I double tap two bars before the B section to give myself time to come in at the right place. Once you're comfortable playing the patterns with the click, you can go back to the track and play that with or without the click. The drum solo section at letter D is great fun. So much, in fact, that I wanted to loop those eight bars to develop some ideas. Just tap and hold the first bar. Then tap on loop start point. Do the same for the loop end point in bar 36. Notice that the loop button is turned blue to indicate that you've selected a loop. Don't forget to set the audio back to no drums. The way I'm approaching the drum solo section is to try and hit all of the ensemble stabs and in between that to have a variety of snare drum rudiments and mix subdivision. Okay, so now it's time to move on to the 12-8 section. You can dismiss the loop by tapping on the blue loop button. Now we'd like to look at the 12-8 groove at letter E, and to do that we'd like to play it a bit more slowly at first. Go into your settings and tap on pitch and time. Now use the tempo slider to slow down the track to a comfortable tempo. As before, I double tap two bars before to give myself time to get in. To develop the 12-8 groove from measure 45 in the piece, I'll move over to the ride cymbal, become a bit more free in my timekeeping, and also incorporate the bell as I do this. To demonstrate this, 
I would like to change back to the original tempo. Just tap Reset in the Pitch and Time section. I think that's about all the time we have for this tutorial video. So have fun putting all the sections of Mind the Gaps together using the features of the KR Player like automatic scrolling, looping, tempo change, and multiple backing tracks to achieve a brilliant grade in your exam. Thanks for watching and see you in my next video.